Welcome back to 9114 Design, or if you're new here, um, this is the channel where I help spark ideas for the creative genius by showing you guys how to build awesome things like this. What you just witnessed was the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Mindcuber 3 um, robot, specifically for solving the 3x3 Rubik's Cube, like this one. I did not design it, so I can't take credit. I wish I could, because I'd be a genius. This is the very Rubik's Cube solver you saw in my intro video. I'd encourage you to go to check that out. Now you may be thinking, oh, I can't build this. It's, it's too advanced. Lots of very expensive pieces. And you're right. But this, this thing can be built with... Here, I'll show you. I built it with the two, the two uh, Mindstorms EV3 education sets. That's the one, those are the ones I purchased. So you can either purchase those two and build this thing and whatever else you want, or you can get directions for doing the home edition as well. I personally think if you want to just do this, just specifically for having an awesome Rubik's Cube solver, you just get the home edition, it's cheaper. Cheaper, I mean like $370, I think, last time I checked. It's pretty pricey, but it is so worth it. I took Minecuber 3 to our local Mini Maker Fair, and everybody loved it. Um, a few pe questions people asked were, what computer runs it? Is it a special computer? and um, what program software are you using? So the simple answer would be, I'm simply using the normal computer brain that comes with it. And as far as the program I used, I did not program it. You can get your instruction from mindcuber3.com. Hop over there and look at mindcuber3.com to build one of your own Rubik's Cube solving robots. I'll put a link in the description for that if you want to go check him out. And I'll just stop jabbering and we'll get right into how this works. Now, as far as how the actual functions go, it is not rocket science, but I would like to uh, give credit to David Gilday because he did a really, really awesome job putting this whole build together. It's just really, really compact and well built. Minecuber 3 uses three different mechanisms to accomplish four different uh, tasks, and I'll show you how it does that. Um, the first arm is kind of tricky. This one right here, it, 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 it uses, it does two tasks actually, which is very efficient. It's super cool. Let me turn this thing off so it will let me move its servos like that. While the Rubik's Cube is being held in place, it will go forward, you know, using that medium um, motor back here, and it can flip the cube like that. So that's one of the functions it has, is to flip the cube. It comes up and it actually holds the cube in place while the base turns. And that's the second function, is how the base turns. So this base here, let me get the arm out of the way. The base, while this is holding it, it spins on a medium motor down here. Uh, your, your set should come with two of those. And then for the third mechanism, we have a color sensor. You probably saw that in the video. It come out and start, starts scanning all of these sides, right? And then another thing I almost forgot to say is this um, it has a, a so those two little googly eyes there, the little wally eyes. Um, that, the only purpose those have, it's, it, for one, it looks cool. What it does is, as soon as you stick the Rubik's Cube in this little uh, holder thingy, I would call it the turning plate, it, it senses that. This is ultrasonic sensor is what that is. A problem I faced was downloading the program. It's kind of complicated, time consuming. I'm not gonna show you in this video how to program because it's very complicated. So I, So just look at his instructions on how to program or how to download his program follow his detailed instructions on how to program and you might get there. I did. So I hope I didn't totally make you guys bored in this video. 
You shouldn't have because this is super awesome. That'd be weird if you got bored. If this video inspired you to go build your very own Minecube or 3, so you can impress your friends next time they don't believe you can solve their hopelessly scrambled Rubik's Cube, then drop down there and leave a like. And please consider heading down there and hit that big red subscribe button if you want to see more awesome videos like this one. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave it in the chat box. I'll try to answer your questions. And remember, if you have any ideas for future tutorials, leave it in the chat box as well because who knows, maybe you'll have a great idea that I can put on my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate it. I'm Ian Blevins, and this is 9114 Design, helping spark ideas for the creative genius. Thanks for watching. Like here's, here's my good one. This is my epically bad one that just breaks apart. Bad Rubik's Cube. See, like, Part. You know, I'm tearing apart my Rubik's Cube. I hope you guys appreciate this. And if you do, subscribe. That's why I'm pulling this Rubik's Cube apart. So you'll subscribe. It's free. This is the red box. So please subscribe because I just destroyed my Rubik's Cube and I'm really disappointed. Now for the unboxing of a super awesome Star Wars Walker. A heavy duty assault walker. It's pretty cool and it just broke. Anyway, it's pretty awesome. My friend got it for me. If you're watching, friend. I won't destroy it like I did my Rubik's Cube. Heavy Duty Assault Walker versus... Yeah, that's right. Giant mech suit. Actually, no. Actually, for real life, what that would look like is... It'd be like... Oh, come on. I just destroyed... Destroyed him all over.